Yeah, so it looks like they bonded right over the pine needles in the mud. And this was over. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that side still got the bond yeah. over the, Yeah. A lot of bondo. They had a lot of money to spend on bondo, not so much on not so body much shop on lessons. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'm sure Bad Chad could do a better job than us. If he'd talk your ear off doing it, but he'll get it done. Oh look, we got two by fours holding the trunk together. Be damned. I don't think the guy who did this job knew what he was doing. Probably the same guy that bondoed in that quarter window. Uh -huh. uh, he liked bondo. They used plywood instead of making it their own platform. Yeah. I didn't think that was the right original floor when I opened the trunk either, you know? Yeah, I know. It looks like it's up higher than it ought to be. Yep. Oh, yeah. So today I'm going to be working on this thing. Um, finally got it unwrapped. You see all these holes? I got the hood scoop. It was uh, I painted it last year and I didn't like it. A mosquito landed right in the middle of the paint while it was wet. So I sanded it down and sprayed primer over it and it wrinkled all up. So I said the hell with it and I put it on and wrinkled primer. But I got it sanded down and primered again. Also, I got new headlight buckets. See, these don't line up, and they've bugged me ever since I put the thing together. And uh, so I got some new ones. Okay, so these are the headlight buckets, and uh, I've got the Shelby side scoops. Now, the thing that's wrong with my other headlight buckets is these things are broken off on the corner. There's one there, that one there. They're missing off of the ones I got, so. That's why they don't sit in there straight. Well, I noticed there seems to be a discrepancy here. And I think, okay, see how this is flat on the top? This one has an angle. So I don't understand why they're different unless maybe this one's a 64 and a half because I know somewhere around the front of the hood they were different. So I have to try them on there. I hate to have it all painted and find out it isn't going to work, but uh, I got to do it. I'm not going to take it apart until after they're painted, so I guess that's that. I got to get some 320 and sand it down. I just finished sanding the hood, uh, hood scoop with 320 and I went through so I got to put more primer over that, a little bit here, up here and here. You know, I guess I didn't put enough on. So I'll get to work on that. I know what I'm going to do first. Wash the Catalina. Oh, yeah. There's a bucket of soapy water out there by the hose. I just... Use a fresh bucket. Yeah, you can dump it out and refill it. Yeah, I, yeah, okay, so I guess Richard's going to work on the Mercury a bit today and try to get it loaded onto the trailer, but I guess first he wants to wash the old Catalina because it's for sale on eBay if anyone's interested. Uh, meanwhile, I guess I'm going to get back to work on this. So there's all my pots laid out. Got two saw horses and two planks. And... Uh, you know, we all need something we can paint on. So, I get this set up now. I gotta go find the paint and shake it up. And, uh, cause I got a paint shaker. I gotta make sure the cover's on tight though, cause it wasn't on one. And I sprayed a lot of blue paint around where I didn't want it. So, I don't wanna do that with poppy red. I don't think I've got all that much left in the can. Looks like it's a little short there. Well, what I'm thinking is I want to go in. Yeah. Up under. Yeah, well, it's got to line up with the door bottom, too. Like that. Yeah, that looks nice. That's why I want to get, I'll have to get this in a little bit more over here. Just because I got that lip there. Probably a little bit easy or something. Because this was pretty far gone over here. So. 
Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Do that yeah. or you feather it out that way, but I'd rather have it on the inside than it yeah. down. You know, yeah. It's got enough mud in it as it is, so. Yeah. But that's always extra. I figured they don't have much on this corner, so. Yeah. So try and save me. Yeah, I'll leave you something to hook into. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. Gotta fix it. Just glued on there, huh? Yeah, glued on oh, to some well. sheet metal. That's been pop riveted too. Well, maybe you can get some carpet and have it just come around the edge. Yeah. Now it's already off. Oh well. And now it doesn't want to come off the rest of the way. Now it won't come off the rest of the way, huh? So uh, yeah, I figure I'm just gonna get these a little less on each side, just a little bit. Yeah. So we'll tucked in there. And then I can come in here. And work with that. I gotta get that rivet out of the way anyways. I gotta make some more on the lower half too. Yeah. I don't know if I have any thinner for that paint. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I say too. I'm gonna go down to the cellar and see if I still get some. Of it. If not, we got a little bit at the shop. Yeah. I'll have to run over and get it. Alright, well I'll go look down the cellar first. I get that and I got reducer too. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like my throw out there. It's kind of dry. Yeah. I was wondering what that chattering noise was. I was like, uh oh. Uh, don't have any strainers. So I'll just pour it right in. I'll put this thing on a pedestal somewhere.
paint him, but maybe I can pick him off later. Well, there, I guess I'm done. Now. Yeah, great. There we go. Next is, uh, gotta finish working on Richard's thing. Quarter panels. So that's where it goes. I'm not gonna push it all the way down. Well, hey, there, it went down. So I probably could put the nuts on the back of it. Uh, I guess it's a good color match. Anyway, I'm thinking of doing the Shelby stripes on here like I did on the blue one. I didn't want to do it when they were both here. I figured it would look kind of, I don't know, overdone. This is the antenna. I folded it down so I could uh, put the top over it for the winter. tight but uh, except for this one I over tightened it and it broke loose out of the fiberglass so I better not tighten the rest of them anymore so I gotta take it off later if I'm gonna do the stripes because the stripes have to go right up underneath it an extra washer yeah it's gonna look more like a Shelby every day I gotta put those side scoops on back here. ourselves what would bad Chad do after he screws up and redoes it the second time and we'll do, do it the second time we'll skip the part where we screw everything up but I like bad Chad don't get me wrong he does Amazing work. Just think of how much you could do if you actually put some thought into it. The sheet metal is still there and that was just a layer of Bondo? Yes, that was just a layer of Bondo. I'll be damned. Nice mold on the inside. Yeah, there's even spider living in there. Huh. He's bummed <laughs> out now. I don't have a place yeah. to Yeah. He's free. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. I saw it moving a little bit, so I thought I'd grab onto it. Oh, they welded it right here. Oh. They did weld it right across. So. Yeah. It might have been another one of these patches or something. I don't know why they did that whole clip underneath it. Huh. Well, 
Well, I still got some red paint left in the gun. I'm gonna uh, try to sand down the firewall and paint it before that paint kicks and hardens. Uh, wires, I don't think I'm gonna use these original wires anymore. put this thing back on its pedestal. Well, while I still got some red paint left in the gun, I'm gonna uh, try to sand down the firewall and paint it before that paint kicks and hardens. Uh, wires, I don't think I'm gonna use these original wires anymore. put this thing back on its pedestal. There we go. Now I can remove this excessive wiring.
so you get the idea anyways. Um, I'll just finish this up and then I'll show you when I paint it. Maybe when you get out, the car will come up enough to clear the fender. <laughs> yeah. Just enough. Just barely. Yeah, just barely. Okay, because I was right on the front, huh? Well, yeah. She doesn't squat too bad with this on there. No. You got it right up to against, just about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think if we move these planks forward a little more, so it would stay on these planks, and that would have yeah. cleared all right. But, but I was thinking some two by twelves instead of the two by sixes that are on there. Yeah. And I probably ought to raise the level up anyways too, so Yeah, so the fan's quite a bit away from the yeah, radiator. The radiator hose is really nice and stiff, so yeah. holding up pretty good that way. Too warm. But that's only temporary anyways. Yeah. So we got to get the ver VIN number verified, huh? And then we can put the nose back on. Yeah. And then I can get plates for it. Yeah. Drive it, drive it around. Legally. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know about inspection sticker, but. Uh... Yeah, it'll take a little bit before I get one of those. Maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> Usually the first year, I don't I don't worry too much about it. Cause I, don't, I don't get a chance to drive it as much. So. Yeah, they don't, uh, I haven't been pulled over for a sticker for a long time. And the one time I did get pulled over with an expired sticker, the guy shined his flashlight on it and didn't notice it was expired. <laughs> so. oh, interesting. Yeah, I know that New Hampshire, I guess, is getting pretty hard on them. Yeah. That's about it. So I'm getting it down to bare metal, but still a lot of rust in there. Um, I gotta see how much I can get done because if I don't spray that paint out before dark, I'll have to throw it away because it hardened up overnight. So I gotta, I guess I gotta unstick this thing. I don't wanna spray stuff on it now before I paint it, so I'll just have to use brute force and uh, get some more of this rust out of here and uh, the side, the moss growing in it. Uh, that looks okay there. I've got a little dent here. The other side split though with the fender bolts on. See this here is all split. I'm going to have to reinforce it. It's got a split there too. So i got to do a little welding. I'm going to paint it first and then weld over it. Uh, I can always touch it up again. I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to have time to do the whole front of the firewall. All this stuff here. That would be nice, but I don't think I can get it done before dark. I still got to get all this side. And, uh, and I'll treat it with acid, and then I'll uh, put some primer on it. 
I don't think I'll tape off the rest of it because I gotta sand it all down again anyway. But uh, I've been working on this truck since 1962 when me and Ed bought it out of a junkyard down in Salem, Massachusetts for, I think it was a hundred bucks and we drove it home. Do we want to move that nose anywhere else or is that thing very Well, I got that all sanded down, down on this side too. I got to get the rust neutralizer and rub it down with that and then put some primer on. Well, there it is, ready to spray.
Well, we're finished. Guess I'll go in and have some beer. <laughs>